Okay, part five. So here it is. Let's talk about Tori and Sam's fight. Now let's take the plot completely out. Let's throw it out the window. As we know, there are two behind the scenes. There is one where Hawk loses to Robbie and Sam wins against Tori and stuff. But they went with the other plot because in an interview, Mary Mauser says this is a better scenario for Sam. It's going to show a better path for her in season five and stuff. So I think it is probably a better route. And also we get to see the what if scenario that probably a lot of people have been waiting since 1985 to see if Daniel had lost to Mike Barnes, what would have happened and stuff. So we get to see that in this season five. So that's really, I love how the writers are going a different direction, but I still wanted Sam to carry on um, the LaRusso legacy and stuff because no LaRusso has lost before. I don't necessarily want Anthony to carry on the name. I really want Sam to do it because I just don't really care for Anthony that much. Even though, granted, I do hate that he became a bully and stuff. That was on their fault and the writers. But the point is, is that uh, Mary says um, that in the behind the scenes with Jacob, I believe, is um, who plays Hawk. And um, they state it, it's not, if it's not in the script, I probably won't win and stuff. Obviously, she doesn't win. But let's talk about the fight as a whole. So that f sliding foot back scenario, obviously the elbow and stuff. I mean... I know it was an accident, so, I mean, Tori shouldn't really lose a point there, but it is questionable. It is like a flag and stuff in football. Hey, I know you didn't do it intentional, but you still technically um, pulled the guy by his face mask, so it's still a flag. You, you elbowed Sam, so it should still deduct a point. But now let's talk about the other one. When Sam hits Tori, and obviously it's 2 one Tori's side and stuff, um, her foot slides back. So there are two rules here. Um, I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply science, and I'm going to apply a football rule as well. For every action, there is an opposite and reaction. That is Newton's third law and stuff. The first action is Sam connects with the punch, and then Tori's foot slides back. So by that property, Sam's point should still count and stuff because she hits her, and then her foot slides back. Also, there's a rule in football. If your knee hits the ground first before the ball comes out, it's not a fumble, and by that property... Um, you know, Sam, um, then Sam's, um, fist should connect because the hit happens first, then her foot slides back. So if that's the case, the hit happens first. So Sam wins and stuff, obviously. And then it's 2-2 and then Sam hits the double fist punch and it's over. It's 3-2. Now it's obviously Sam's fault for not blocking, but ultimately that's my recap on season four. I hope you guys liked my recap. But ultimately, I think Sam should have won that fight. You guys let me know.